What kind of brake pads do I need for my motorcycle? Should I find the lowest price pads and then install them? Should I put the most expensive racing pads on? No, you need the right pads for the environment and the type of riding you do. Am I riding on a track? Do I ride on a track and a road? Do I ride on the open road for miles and miles? Do I go off-roading? What if I make the wrong choice? You could be in for some repairs from an accident or even worse. So, how do I make the right choice? First, there are two classifications, centered or organic. What does this mean to me? Organic is for 50 cc's or less, which is smaller scooters and mini motorcycles. These last a long time and they are inexpensive. They also have good braking in low temperatures. There are many types of materials for each one of these and many manufacturers. The centered pads are made up of metallic powders combined, heated, and pressed together. Organic pads are any that are not centered. They are bonded together by adhesives rather than heat and pressure. For the rear brake pad, we need a centered pad that has good properties in both hot and cold temperatures. If you are using the Brembo pads, the only pad for the rear is the SP. If you are riding on a track, use the RC pads. These will handle the high temperatures of the track. If you are a light track user and sporty street rider, the Brembo SC is the closest to a racing track pad and still usable on the street. If you are a road rider like myself, the two choices are SA and LA in the Brembo brand. The SA is for high performance, but you will get reduced mileage out of these pads. The LA is for touring and high number of miles traveled. For off-road braking, the choices in the Brembo are SX, SD, and TT. SX Racing is for motocross and motard, while the SD is enduro. TT is high mileage, but lower friction coefficient. This is not all there is to know about braking, but it is enough to pick the correct choice from the various Brembo pads.